Happy Stampers and Crafters. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I want to do my third in the series of Christmas in July. And I'm going to show you how to make this gift card holder. It's real simple, real quick, so let's get started. First of all, I've started out with the new craft cardstock. It's a little heavier than the regular uh, cardstock that Stampin' Up! has. And I just kind of like the feel of it. So this piece is five and three quarter by four and a half. So once we get our piece cut, we are going to score at one and a half and four and a quarter. So score at one and a half, four and a quarter, turn it, and score at three fourths. Okay, once we have that done, I'm going to use the new Borderlets uh, polymer stamps set, and I'm going to use this one right here. This looks like little Christmas trees. And another thing that you could use a stamp for is if you do this in red on white paper, it looks like candy cane. Okay, so I already have my uh, stamp mounted on my block, and I'm going to stamp the little Christmas trees in Old Olive. So, laying my paper this way, with it four, or I'm sorry, five and three quarter here, I'm going to line this up along this bottom line here, and I'm going to stamp the Christmas trees. Okay, and then, and I'm not worried about getting over in this part or this part, because it's going to be covered up. So I'm just going to line it up and just go right up the paper and stamp it. Okay, so once I have all that done, I'm going to turn it, and I want to stamp the Christmas trees the right side up on this tab. So same thing, stamp, and you can get two rows on that. Okay, so I already have one that's completely stamped, and this is what it looks like. Now you can see my little hash marks because I took my Early Expresso pen and the thin edge and I just went around the bottom of each little tree triangle to make it look like a tree. Okay, so I've already got that already completed. So here's my here's my card holder. And then these tabs down here I'm going to cut out. So I cut an angle here and I'm going to cut right across here. Okay. Now see how my trees are upside down here and they're right side up here. I'll show you how that's going to turn out in a minute. So angle here and then cut out all that tab there. So here's what I have. Let's straighten that up a little bit. Here's what I have so far. Okay, so now I'm going to score on my lines. Okay, and then I'm going to use the fast fuse because I really like it. You see that okay? Yeah, I'm going to just go along here and right along here. Okay, so I'm going to bring that together in the middle. Okay, and then fold this over and stick it. Now you can see how that's how my trees are right side up on that side. So here's what the back looks like, and here's what the front looks like. Okay, so we have that already, but we're going to cover that up. We're going to cover that up using the chalk talk and the what I want, Chalk Talk stamp set, and what I want is this one right here, just a little something. I already have that mounted on my block. I've already stamped it. Okay, so I have it ready to go. And I stamped it in the tuxedo black because I want to use my uh, blend abilities to add a little color to it. Okay, so then I'm taking the Chalk Talk framelits and I'm going to Put this on my magnetic platform, line it up, oh and I stamped it on very vanilla, take it over to my Big Shot and cut it out. So here I have one cut out already, ready to go. It's st stamped with Momento Black, I'm sorry, Tuxedo Black, the Momentum ink, and then um, I did it on very vanilla. So then I took my Blend Abilities because I wanted to add a little color and I took the cherry cobbler and just kind of filled in. I'll kind of show you how I did that. I just kind of, looks like I touched that one, but I just kind of filled in a little bit right here, added a little bit of color. I really like this. Um, just kind of did a couple places with the cherry cobbler. 
Okay, just kind of show you what we did. So this is what the final one looks like. So I'm going to put that on the front of my card holder like this, but I'm going to pop it up. But before I do that, I want to cut out that little V up here so I can put my uh, ribbon there and it's easier to pull out my gift card. So I'm just going to mark that with a pen like this. Okay, and I'm going to cut it through both thicknesses because I want it, the front, see this V is what I'm talking about right here, and the back right here. That will give it a little better for that ribbon. So we're going to cut this out. Maybe. Put that V out. Didn't get it quite loose. Okay, and then turn it over. I've already made my marks with my scissors and cut that V out. Okay, there we have that out. Well, that just shows you how good that cardstock is. You really have to trim it up. Okay, we got those out of there. Okay, so this is ready to pop up on the front of my card like that with dimensionals. Okay, and I want to keep this place clear here, and I'll probably put more dimensionals on that, but just for the sake of time, because I'm going to run that uh, ribbon through it, the linen thread, I'm sorry, the cotton ribbon, I like that, and I'm going to stamp on it. So we've got this lined up and popped up. So there we go. Okay, ready to go. Now, that cotton ribbon that I was talking about, I took petite pears, and I really wasn't careful how I did it, but I took the Merry Christmas off of petite pears and stamped Merry Christmas all through that ribbon. Now I'm going to thread it through here. That's why I want to make sure I kept that dimensional clear. Thread it through here. And probably didn't stamp far enough, so let's do some more stamping. And I stamped that with Momentum ink also. So just take my block and just go along here and stamp it. I don't stamp both sides. You could stamp both sides, but you know you're going to have something upside down and right side up and everything else, so I don't uh, I don't stamp both sides. Okay, so now we're going to brought it through there. We're going to bring it through here, thread it through, pull it through. And I kind of liked it that uh, on this one, I had the Merry Christmas in the back. I kind of like that. So I'm going to try to center a Merry Christmas in the back before I tie my bow. Looks like I have that right there. Okay, now I have my bow tied. I'm just going to trim off the edges. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, now we're going to do the insert for our gift card. So we're taking a piece of card, very vanilla cardstock that's uh, one and a half by four and a quarter. I've punched out a hole in the top to put this in. And this is just some of the ribbon that I had left over. Now one of the things I did was I took the blendabilities and I just ran down the, let me get a back of paper here. I just ran down the edge just very lightly with the old olive which is what we stamped the trees in was old olive. So just to give it a little color, it doesn't have to be really fancy or anything or really straight, just edging the edge of that ribbon. And the blendabilities will bleed through so you'll have it on the back side, you can see that. Okay, so that just gives it a little bit of color on top. 
Okay, now I have this and I'm going to thread it through. Okay, and then I'm going to use the linen thread and just take a little piece of it. There's my edge. And just tie it around there to secure that ribbon. Turn those little pieces off. Okay, so there's our gift card holder. So that slides right in there like that. So there you have it. So two of them right there. So hope that helped you. Thank you so much for tuning in.